what's up? Coach Jesse Minch, also known as Snake here with GetHandles.com and GetHandles.com slash freestyle. Got a new tutorial for you for another Uncle Drew move. I did one before, got a ton of views on it. I think a lot of people want to learn some more of these moves because they're pretty sick moves. They're kind of street ball, but they're legal. So let's get into how to do it. This move today is going to be kind of like a behind the back into a spin move. And I have a tutorial on that already. So if you haven't seen that, click this right here. You can check out that tutorial. It's a great little combination move you can do. Now the difference in the way Kyrie Irving, aka Uncle Drew does it in, in the commercial, is he does it a little bit different in that he's kind of coming up the court, right? And he's just coming up to about the three point line. And he doesn't really do like a regular behind the back like this. It's more of a like he pushes the ball. I can't tell for sure, but it almost seems like he slightly loses it. But maybe he did it on purpose. I don't know. He's just pushing the ball back though. Maybe just to step back and you know gather himself or make the defense defense think that. But instead of pushing it more to the side, he's gonna push it more back. And as he's doing that, he's gonna kind of step back with the ball. And when he does that, that allows his defender to either one of two things is gonna happen for you. The defender's either gonna kind of go to sleep because they're thinking, oh, you're just gonna pull the ball back and wait for you know your teammates to come up the court or just wait and see what's going on. Or two, they might kind of try to come back with you, which is what you want because after that, you're gonna come into this spin move and go past them. Now the key difference in this from the other killer crossover one I linked to earlier is once again that you're pushing the ball back and you're gonna kind of hesitate here before you go into the spin, okay? So you're just gonna kind of take a couple steps and kind of float back with that, with the ball. And then go into that spin last second. See how you kind of do some fancy footwork and float back with the ball? And the idea is that you're trying to make the defender think you're just pulling the ball back and you're gonna just come back here with a protection dribble to protect you know, the basketball from them or just to survey the court once again. And then when they least expect it, you're gonna go in and complete that spin. And another tip I can give you on it is by pushing the ball more straight back versus to the side, you're gonna have to bring this hand over more and turn your body a little more to get the basketball. You're already halfway into your spin now, allowing you to go into that spin move quicker and change directions quicker. So that's another key tip is pushing the ball more straight back and turning that opposite hand to get the ball. So give this move a try. Let me know if it worked out for you. If you crossed someone up bad with it, broke some ankles, whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. Always love hearing crazy stories about you guys breaking ankles. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's the best way to catch the newest tips, tutorials, drills, Uncle Drew moves, whatever else you guys want to see that I'm bringing for you guys. Hit the subscribe button to make sure you're catching all that. And then head over to GetHandles.com. Got a free ball handling workout for you there. And GetHandles.com slash freestyle. Got a full building box of freestyle to learn some of the flashy, tricky stuff like I showed you in this video. So GetHandles.com is your fundamentals. GetHandles.com freestyle is your flashier stuff. Both of those are 100% free. You just got to pop in your email and I will send all that good stuff over to you right away. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and it helped you and share it. If you're an Uncle Drew fan, make sure you hit that share button. Sick move. Hopefully, you know, you and a couple buddies can learn this move and you can go to the courts and completely embarrass some defenders with it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.